Hi everybody, welcome back. It's a very hot day today here in the caravan, but I want to talk to you today about caravan toilets. But not too many people are really aware on how to use the onboard toilet, or they may not be keen for using it for its full potential. So I thought in this video, I'm going to go through how to prepare, how to empty, how to use, and how to maintain a chemical toilet. And for all of that to happen, we need to start right at the beginning and explain what is a chemical toilet. Unlike most toilets at home, chemical toilets do not flush into a sewer system. Instead, toilets in caravans and motorhomes use cassettes, which are then removed and emptied at a chemical waste point. So the toilet cassette is prepared with different chemicals, and each chemical does a very separate and a very specific job. And if you've been to a caravan accessory shop, you would have seen a shelf with lots of accessories and lots of chemicals for the toilet. So what do they all do? There are many manufacturers of toilet chemicals, but most stick to two common colours, that being blue and pink. The blue chemical is used in the cassette to aid with the breaking down of solids and to neutralise any odour. The pink chemical, on the other hand, is used in the flush tanks of some caravans. This helps keep the toilet fresh and smelling pleasant. Now you will notice, however, other chemicals including green and purple. Green chemicals are an alternative to the blue additives. They're ideal for environmentally conscious campsites or those that use septic tanks. More and more campsites now require the use of green toilet fluids as they try to limit their environmental impact on the surrounding areas. It's worth checking though with your campsite before you visit if they have any limitations on what chemical to use. Now just a quick point about the toilet chemicals. We swapped over to the green about two years ago and we've noticed no difference. In fact, I personally prefer the green. It's, it's a nicer smell. Now on the caravan accessories shop, you would have noticed other chemicals, different colors. I'm gonna cover some of those a bit later on. But right now, let's use some of these chemicals and go through how to prepare the chemical toilet. Each toilet chemical will have instructions and guidance on the strength and the dilution of the additive. So remove the toilet cassette from the housing and unscrew the cap. Inside the cap will be clear markings for measuring out the blue or the green chemical. Once measured, pour in and add the correct amount of water into the cassette as well. Then simply replace the cap, reinsert the cassette and you're good to go. On the market there are also chemical bags and these are pre-measured and easy to add into the toilet cassette. Simply drop in, add some water and it's ready for use with the correct dosage. On some caravans you can also top up the flush header tank. Add a drop of pink chemical, fill the tank with water, and that's it, the toilet is ready for use. Now some caravans don't come with separate flush tanks that you can add additives into, and that's because they use onboard water tanks to flush the toilet. But don't worry, you can get pre-diluted chemicals such as this, and you can use that in the toilet once you use it. Speaking of which, how do you use a chemical toilet? To use the toilet, start by opening the hatch lever on the side of the bowl. Use the toilet in the normal way, then press the flush button on the top for about five seconds. Once all the water has flushed away, close the hatch and the toilet lid. When it comes to toilet paper, you can buy special paper that breaks down really easily in the cassette. However, I have found that cheap brands from supermarkets will also do the job just as well. Now, if you're worried about cleaning up any mess, biodegradable bowl liners fit into the toilet bowl and can be flushed into the cassette where they break down. This keeps the toilet bowl clean with the minimal effort. I've put a link to these in the description below. To keep the toilet clean, don't be tempted to use bleach or harsh chemicals you find around the house. Over time, these chemicals make the plastic brittle, perish the rubber seals, and can lose the shiny surfaces of the plastics. Instead, use cleaners specifically designed for plastic surfaces and caravan bathrooms. Don't flush anything like wet wipes, kitchen towels, or sanitary products down the cassette. It, it will block up the cassette eventually, and the person who empties the toilet won't thank you for it which is a nice segue onto how to empty the toilet cassette. Of course, how often you empty the cassette depends purely on how much you use it. But as a rough guide and from our experience, expect to empty the toilet every one and a half days for a family of four. Thankfully, there is a handy indicator on the top of most toilets that will show that the cassette is full and needs emptying. To empty the toilet, make sure that the hatch lever is closed, then pop outside and remove the cassette from the caravan. Take the cassette to the nearest service point or chemical waste point. Now, once you're at the waste point, extend the neck of the cassette and remove the cap. Place the cap in a safe place away from the drain and then press the small button that allows air into the cassette and gently pour out the contents. Once empty, add some water back into the cassette and agitate it. Try not to be too aggressive though. 
empty the cassette as you already have done and repeat this process until the water runs clear. The cassette is now ready to be prepared as before, but don't forget to wash your hands. At the end of the holiday, empty the cassette as normal and also make sure that the flush tank is emptied too. Now, depending on your flush tank will depend on how you drain it down. So look inside your user manual for more information. It's important that the flush pump is run to remove any liquid from the pipework. This will reduce any risk of frost damage in the winter. If you've got any flush fluid left over with the chemicals already diluted in it, don't waste it. Instead, empty it into an empty container, such as an old bottle. Mark it up as do not drink, keep out of the reach of kids, and that'll be perfect to use on your next trip. But between now and your next trip, there are just a couple of things to be mindful of when thinking about toilet maintenance. There are just a couple of areas that require maintenance on the toilet. Firstly, the rubber seal on the cassette. Periodically spray the seal with some silicon lubricant to keep the seal supple. Also in winter, when the caravan is in storage, keep the hatch seal open to reduce the risk of the seal sticking to the cassette lid. Another item of maintenance is occasional cassette cleaning. This can usually be done at the end or the beginning of the season. Again, there are products on the market that help with the cleaning of the cassette. And this is simple as pour in the required amount, fill with water and allow the chemicals to do their job. Just a couple of points I want to raise here. If you've bought yourself a secondhand caravan, you can get yourself a toilet fresh up kit. It's a brand new seat, it's a brand new cassette. In essence, it gives you a brand new toilet in your caravan. The second point I want to note is if you travel with a little bit of blue or a little bit green chemical in the toilet cassette, your toilet will be in essence ready to use at any given point. And this is perfect if you have children who obviously need the loo when they're miles away from any facilities. It's worth thinking about if you are traveling long distances. And finally, if you're feeling squeamish about things, well, don't be. I know lots of you are, but don't be. The fact is, if you've had a pet or if you're a parent, I guarantee you, you'd have had to have dealt with a lot worse. The fact is this, by the time you empty your cassette down at the waste point, it's just a chemical soup. There is nothing bad about it whatsoever. It doesn't smell bad, it looks a bit funny, but it's not as unpleasant as you might think. All right, and that's it from me today. I hope this video has been useful for you. If you've got any questions or comments, you know, put them down below. I'll try my best to answer them. Please do hit the subscribe button, hit the notification icon, and if you're up for it, why not become a member where you can get some exclusive content and giveaways. So that's it from me today, guys. I'm gonna go and call off. I'll speak to you very soon. Take care now, guys. Bye-bye.